there's a big sports story out there today that says Russell Wilson had his birthday party oh, and man. half the Denver Broncos Aww. didn't show up. Thank you for that reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're on the same page. Yeah. And man. my answer was, why do I care? about a near 40-year-old's birthday party and who showed up to it and who didn't. If he were seven, I might care about it. Correct? <laughs> Correct. I had a birthday party. My, my wife threw me a birthday party in Miami. She, they, none of my kids, she wasn't there. My teammates showed up. She had my brothers and some family and friends yeah. come. I had like five, six teammates show up. Uh-oh, you're I not liked by the Green Bay I Packers. Oh. I, no, this is Miami. I I'm never at- thought once twice, three times about it. I mean, I, I on my off day, right. I'm not signing up as much as I like you. I'm not yeah. signing up to go to a birthday. It's my off day. Right. Like, I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. And, and if that means I show up, I show up. Doesn't it mean I don't, I don't love you. No. It just means I'm not going to your birthday party. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because we're adults. Birthday parties aren't important to adults. Right? So that's uh, story number one. Greg's got my back. Absolutely. All right, story number two. You may uh, be aware that there, there's this, like, uh, social media feud between Patrick Peterson mm-hmm. and Kyler Murray. Yes. Now, they used to be teammates. Patrick Peterson on a podcast, and this is what he said about Kyler Murray. <laughs> Don't care about nobody but Kyler Murray. So Kyler Murray responded on Twitter or something going, if that's his attempt to be a big brother to me, you know, talk to me privately. And everybody wants to talk about, like, really? Like, it's two grown men who probably don't like each other anymore. Maybe they didn't like each other when they played. And Patrick Peterson just given his honest assessment of what kind of dude Kyler Murray is. We've seen it. We've talked about it yep. all year. Yeah. He throws Kingsbury under the bus as often as possible. He threw his wide receivers under the bus, his offensive line under the bus. He wasn't going to come back and play football this year until he got the guaranteed contract. That's not newsworthy, is it? It's it is, but it isn't. Like both both individuals are right. Like Patrick Peterson, I commend him for saying what he said. He's honest. And Ky- Kyler, Kyler Murray is right. Like if you have something to say, say it to me first. However, I will I will. This is what I want people to really understand. When have we heard Patrick Peterson talk about teammates? I don't know that I ever have. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. So when guys like that talk, we actually shouldn't just be like, don't say that. We should actually hold some slight merit to it. Like, okay, wow. But like you said, we've seen it on full display. Yeah. It's not shocking. Like, I, I've been around so many guys. I've been around another one of his teammates that played with him a short term. That said the same the first time I asked him about Kyler Murray. They rolled out the red carpet too soon for him. Right. He didn't like, earn it. He didn't earn it. And so, like, guys like that, they know. It's, it's not that he doesn't like Kyler Murray. He's just stating what's real. Here's what I know about Patrick Peterson. He's very honest. Uh, I was at a Pro Bowl one year out in Arizona. And I'm on the sideline with my kids. My oldest boy at that time was maybe 10 years old. And he's a very approachable guy. Really mm-hmm. good dude, Patrick yep. Peterson. And great with kids, right? Yep. So uh, one of the, my kids says to Patrick Peterson, my dad thinks he can beat you one-on-one. That is a, a pro bowl. <laughs> All right. And I was like, that's right. I never said it, by the way. And Patrick Peterson looks my son in the eye and goes, you have a better chance of beating me than him. You got to appreciate it. honesty, right? Absolutely. Uh, here's a story that it, like, it ruins my day when the knuckleheads upstairs try to force me to talk about Odell Beckham Jr., so I'm not going to move on from that. Uh, if you're a college uh, football fan, I guess this is big news, not for this year, I love it. but for next year, and that is at the Rose Bowl, who I guess I didn't even realize this, the Rose Bowl is like its own entity. Yeah, yes, very It's much its own so. business. Absolutely. Very and much the Rose Bowl uh, wants to, uh, uh, you know, was making demands of the NCAA that we're not going to participate in an expanded playoff Unless we have some guarantees like our game is always on New Year's Day at uh, this time or that time, whatever it is. So the NCAA said, okay, you know, we'll, we'll give the championship game to the weed eater company, whatever it's called, right? Mm-hmm. So the Rose Bowl said, oh, no, 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 on second thought we're in. So starting not this year, of course, mm-hmm. but a year from now, the NCAA college football championship is going to be expanded to 12 teams. All that means is whoever comes in 13th is going to be pissed. Yep. There's always going to be somebody pissed. There's- 64 teams, someone's mm-hmm. pissed. 68 teams, someone's pissed. 12 teams, someone's going to get left out. But 
Here's how I look at it. The more football we get in a playoff atmosphere at any level is good for us as fans. It really is. I, I like this decision by the Rose Bowl. I love watching whoever is in the Rose Bowl. It's a great honor. Obviously, you've played your butt off. Um, but like you just said, when it's meaningful football and there's something on the line late in the season, it's great to watch. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.